You're about to close a multi-million dollar deal on a new mansion for you. But that's when the realtor tells you that before you lived here, a celebrity did. You then pause the entire transaction because of that one celeb. This may sound like a crazy scenario, but it happens quite a lot. You may think that having a celebrity owner would help a house get sold, but that is not always the case. According to Redfin, homes owned by celebs spend a lot more time in the market than other homes, and they normally sell for much less than the original price. Here are some of the best examples where celebs have lost millions on their homes and they're still not sold. 50 Cent 50 Cent is a rapper, and like most rappers, he's known for luxury. He often posts images of him on private jets with stacks of money. But all of that spending has caused him some troubles. In fact, he's even declared bankruptcy many times. In 2015, he filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy, and 50 Cent had to sell his 50,000 square foot home in Farmington, Connecticut. He put the house on the market for $18.5 million in 2015, but later that year he had to drop the price all the way down to $8.5 million. In 2016, he lowered the price once again to $5.9 million, and it's remained at that price ever since and has not been bought. The Mega Mansion is totally over the top. It's got 21 bedrooms and 25 bathrooms. It also has an indoor pool and hot tub, and even a nightclub inside the house. If you want entertainment, then there's an indoor basketball court. There are also many game rooms inside the house. And if you need to record a song and music video, there's a recording studio and green screen room. Even if 50 Cent sold it at the price it's listed for now, he'd be making a huge loss. He bought the home from the boxer Mike Tyson for $4.1 million, but he then spent $6 million renovating the home. The house sits on 17 acres of land. The house even has a gigantic double staircase. One of the reasons why no one wants to buy this house is because it's in the middle of nowhere. That's great for a celebrity who wants privacy, but normally rich people like to live among other rich people and nice things. For example, they want to live near golf courses and expensive shops, but you'll get none of that anywhere near this home. Donald Trump Everyone knows the current president, Trump, lives in the White House. But as well as the White House, he has many other homes. This includes his main residence in Trump Tower in New York, and also his Mar-a-Lago estate in Florida. But another one of Trump's luxurious estates is the St. Martin Estate. This is located on the Caribbean island of St. Martin. He owns this through two companies called Excel Venture One LLC and Excel Venture Corp One. It's known as the Chateau de Palmiers, and it was listed in May of 2017 for $28 million. But in August of that year, the price dropped to $16.9 million, and it's still on the market today with very little interest. Trump used the estate as a rental property, and he apparently gets between $100,000 and $1 million a year from it. The sale is being handled by Trump Jr. and the Trump Organization, but there are various reasons why people don't want to buy this estate. For one, much of the island of St. Martin was damaged during Hurricane Irma. The estate was relatively undamaged, but it still means there's lots of destruction on the surrounding island. Also, many people disagree with Trump's politics, and that makes some people not want to be associated with the house that he owned. Seeing as Trump's net worth is in the billions, I'm sure he won't mind his house not being sold anytime soon. Jeffrey Epstein Everyone knows this creepy billionaire. The disgraced financier passed on in 2019, but he left behind many assets, including a private jet and many properties. One of these is Little St. James Island, this is a private island located in the US Virgin Islands. In 2019, the island was valued at $64 million, but it's unlikely this island will be sold anytime soon. First off, most people don't have that much money to spend on an island, but also this island has a bad history. Of course, many bad things allegedly happened on this island, so even though it's massive and has many buildings, it likely will not be sold. The island has a main house and three guest homes. There's also a helipad and a dock. There's also a blue and white striped box-like building with a golden dome on top. The purpose for this building is unknown, 
But Epstein also had two other homes in New York and Florida. These were put on the market for $88 million and $22 million respectively. The $88 million Manhattan townhouse is very opulent, and the $22 million Palm Beach estate is also very luxurious. But of course, as we know, many bad things happened at all of these properties, and that likely means people will not be paying that much money for it. Think about it, would you really want to live in a house where such terrible things took place? Barack Obama Trump is not the only president having trouble selling one of his homes. The Obama family bought this amazing 7,000 square foot mansion in Martha's Vineyard in 2013. They used it as a summer estate. But the Obamas owning it did not make it any easier to sell. In July of 2015, this house was put up for $22.5 million. But just months later, the price dropped by 15%. Two years later, the house was listed at $17 million. And it's still unsold today at this very discounted price. Michael Jordan Everyone knows the basketball legend Michael Jordan, but his Chicago estate has been on the market for many years, he simply can't sell it. The estate located in Highland Park was put on the market for $29 million in 2012, but five years later many price drops did not help it move off the market. It's currently selling for nearly half the original price at $14 million. Inside is a massive gym and also a home theater. The gates outside the house have the number 23, which was his jersey number. The property is 56,000 square feet, and it's located on seven acres of land. And the compound has a massive 80 rooms, including nine bedrooms. The house has a massive circular infinity pool, and in the center of it is a grass island. There's also a basketball and tennis court, and there's even a golf putting green. Tommy Hilfiger Everyone knows the fashion brand Tommy Hilfiger, but do you know the man behind the brand? His name is of course Tommy Hilfiger, and he's worth around $1 billion. Hilfiger owns one of the most amazing properties in New York, and similar to his clothing, it's very over the top and stylish. It's known as the Plaza Penthouse. It's a 5,600 square foot duplex in the Plaza Hotel. It was first listed by him in 2013 for $80 million. The price then dropped to $75 million, and then to $68 million. It was then dropped one final time to $58 million, and then it was taken off the market as they assumed they could not sell it. But in 2017, they put it back on the market for $50 million. So the price has literally dropped by $30 million already. The condo takes up the 18th and 19th floors of the Plaza Hotel. It has four bedrooms which have views of Central Park and Fifth Avenue. Much of the decor is inspired by the glory days of the Plaza Hotel. And naturally, there's also lots of Tommy Hilfiger inspired decor. Currently, many rich people are leaving New York City. So Tommy may have to wait many more years before this house finally sells. Matt Lauer this is another example of someone being disgraced and their house not selling. For many years, Matt Lauer was the host of NBC's Today Show, but in 2017, he was fired for inappropriate conduct. Since then, he's having a hard time selling his mansion in the Hamptons. It was listed at $17 million. He later cut $1 million off the price, and he then cut the price even more, and it's now on the market for $14 million. The house is 8,000 square feet, and is on a 25-acre private lot. It's known as the Sag Harbor Estate. It was built with a traditional style, and there's lots of space for entertaining guests. There's also a massive swimming pool in the backyard. But because he's been disgraced, it's unlikely anyone's gonna buy this place anytime soon. Steve Cohen Steve Cohen is a billionaire hedge fund manager, but his business skills can't help him move his Manhattan penthouse. He's been trying to sell this duplex since 2013. It was first listed at $115 million, but after six price drops, it's now at $57 million. It's 9,000 square feet with five bedrooms and six baths. The home also has a dedicated gallery to display art pieces. It's called the Mansion in the Sky, but no one wants to buy it. But now it's time to make your voice heard. Comment below which was the most amazing celebrity house on this list. If you want some more amazing videos, then check out my second channel. But as always, thanks for watching. There are some more videos you may like on screen right now. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and if you haven't already, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to Top 10s.